Hey guys, so welcome to another episode of Disney Dust. I know we're all on home quarantine, and I hope everyone is doing very well. If you're not on home quarantine, you should be. I don't know, even if your country is not uh, on a lockdown or anything, I feel like it is important for us to all stay at home. In any case, let's get to the juice of this episode. We're going to be reviewing the Dolphin Reef documentary that's done by Disney Nature, now available on Disney+. Plus. Uh, I just caught it, and it's one of the first few ones I've watched. Apparently, some of the others are maybe even better. I heard Penguins is really funny. But let's talk about this one first. Um, so I have my notes there. First of all, dolphins really make me really, really happy. They're my most favorite animals in the world because they're, I also hear they're the most sentient, and uh, they also help um, kids, autistic kids, uh, when they are um, not be able to communicate with human beings, something about the dolphins brings out communication f from them. So it's it's crazy. Um, so there's something magical about it. I feel um, this um, this movie was made into something that was more than a documentary. That there was a story behind it, and you know, uh, the narration by Natalie Portman was really was really great. I love her voice. It's got a lot of character. Um, yeah, I was following the story quite, quite, um, uh, quite excitedly and quite, you know, like, I just wanted to know what was going to happen to this little dolphin and his mom. Um, and I have to say, these underwater sequences were amazingly shot. I don't even know how these cameramen or how people plan these things, because nature just happens by itself. You have to be there at the right time. And so I think it's an art in itself, like the cinematography as well, just to get all of that down. Um, but the other question is, how do these animals um, not react to the people around them? Like, how do they continue about their lives while they're cameramen around? So, like, it's just amazing. They must have had to hide themselves a little bit uh, just to, you know, just get everything done. So that's just, just mind blown. Um, nature is breathtaking. Uh, I also, uh, you know we are forced to see that there's this unspoken rule in nature, which is quite amazing in itself, you know, like everybody or every living thing is born into a purpose and, you know, we're part of a chain. Um, it also makes me think how in times of crisis, you know, like, like now, for example, what we're doing, we can look to nature um, for, for examples or for a lead, like humpback, humpbacks rise above their differences and band together and rival males come together uh, in times of crisis, and I, I really hope that's what we're doing. Uh, we should be doing that. But at the same time, nature is such that you know um, the winner takes it all. So you have very brutal sort of like people getting eaten up, you know, animals getting eaten up, or people getting into fights, animals getting into fights. Um, and so I don't know, like you know, I I I feel that that that's that's not something we want to do. I mean, like, you know, you can't just go up to someone and stab them. Uh, but, I mean, at the same time, this thinking, is that wrong? Survival, you know, survival of the fittest. Is it wrong to to suss out the competition and to, to, to push them out? I don't know. It's a very unpopular opinion. But I feel more importantly, uh, if we look to nature for help, it's more of you shouldn't do anything that makes nature unsustainable. I think that's our greatest crime as a human race. Um... Oh, the other thing that I saw was also the fish coming to clean other fish's teeth. Like, that's just amazing. There's this rule of no eating other fish while they're cleaning your teeth. And how is that possible? How does, how does nature understand not to do these things? You know, I think it makes me wonder. Like, I think there is something beyond nature. I feel like everything is an equation that's playing out. And I think it's very interesting that... Um, there's an understanding, an innate understanding within nature. It's almost as if we're part of one. Like, I think individually these fish wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to know what to do and what not to do. Like, there's a greater thing beyond that, right? I mean, uh, and in the same way, I wonder why humans don't know any better. Um, anyhow, and also the other thing of how dolphins capture their prey, you know, like the way they, they, they make a cloud thing around and then the fish have to jump out. Like, it's something so complex to think about and hard to explain, but yet how everything just sort of is simple in itself as well. You know, it executes itself and it falls into place. Um, so just like nature is just, it's just amazing. Anyhow, uh, and also not forgetting how every being that's part of the coral reef, you know, uh, that ecosystem keeps it alive. So there's just so many things going on, so many layers that 
can only be created by something beyond what we know. I mean, some some would you know, attribute it to religion, some you know to God, um, you know the universe, and like it's 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 bigger than what we know about it. And like even though this is just a movie review, I mean, I thought I'm just thinking of the philosophical aspect of it. It's it's just pretty mind blowing. Um, so yeah, so when everyone plays their part, the community thrives. We must figure out how to play our part the right way with technology. This is what I think. Um, or even decide how much technology we need to keep. So it's about sustaining um, nature. And I think uh, this is a great time to reflect on that. In any case, I've gone off topic quite a bit. And even this movie is a little bit off topic from the movies I normally um, do. But I just thought I, I also wanted to just be in front of the camera for the whole video because I think that this is a time where we want to connect even more um, during these times. So be kind, be safe, you know, don't judge everybody for for, for, for things that uh, you may not understand uh, about what they're doing. Uh, like some people leave their homes because they really are bipolar and um, or suicidal or depressed and they need that. So like you, you never know. Anyhow, till the next episode, uh, stay tuned to the Disney Dwayne channel. Subscribe if you haven't and share videos with your friends. Now's the time. Take care.